Well, my first guest with me this week is Mr. Brian Altuni, and he's the CEO of Wowio Incorporated. Uh, wow, Brian, always good to see you. Thanks, Don. I almost said Wowio, always good to see you, but you know, every time you come on here, there's always something more to wow about Wowio. Uh, what's the latest? Uh, well, so as we, it's been a little while since I've been on. Um, we've had a lot of progress. You know, I think. We, we, I may have mentioned at one time we were looking at the public market right. as an exit for for Wowio. We were looking at the new BX Venture Market mm -hmm. as a as a target uh, exchange. The thing I like about the BX Venture Market as it's being formed is that it's going to be you know, sort of like a junior junior Nasdaq exchange. Right. It's going to be for companies that are out of the development process and really into uh, in the executions for real companies that have mm -hmm. you know real mm -hmm. you know revenue is real product um, and, and a great target. Uh, exchange for for Wowio in the stage that we're currently in. Right. Uh, initially, that market was supposed to come out uh, this quarter. Then right. it was going to be the beginning of next quarter. Then it was March, and now it looks like it may get pushed to September. You know, SEC and Finner are, are making a lot of wholesale changes. You know, the the Occupy Wall Street activity that's going on, I think, is just really kind of a reflection. The government already knows that changes need to be made in this in these uh, in these uh, in this public market, and so. Because there are so many new rule changes coming, so many regulations changing, I think that the market is really just it's going to have to settle out a little bit mm -hmm. before, um, uh, you know, before we see some you see some big effect here. So, so we're going to we're going to expedite the process of the public market anyways, and then when the BX venture market launches, we're going to uplist to the BX venture market. So we're actually in the process of of acquiring a public company to okay. effectively take Wowio public now. So um, we have uh, uh, some big financing lined up for us, which is which is great. Um, we have a revenue you know, a revenue stream now. We've got mm -hmm. this new Cause Books campaign, which is, you know, we're in the we're in the ebook space, but we're really in the digital media space. Right. And so the idea that advertisers will use will use these book ebooks as a as an advertising platform, while that's Sounds, you know, uh, there's a negative connotation to that in some <laughs> some perspective. The fact that again that you that digital media can be uh, can be made available for free because there's an advertising right. component. It actually makes a lot of sense if you can get access to free books and 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 your and your world is opened up as to how how much material you can acquire. You know, then it, then actually I think it's a good thing. Our Cause Books campaign is going to is going to include a charity component to that. So advertisers okay. using eBooks with some impact for charities. We think that people are going to see that there's a lot of good in this in this opportunity. So I would have to say there's a lot less um, resistance to advertising uh, from the consumer base now because they're seeing it basically everywhere. And I mean, especially now with the, you know the internet, the last 15 years, advertising's everywhere. It doesn't seem to offend people as it might have say even a dozen years ago. No, I I totally agree. And if you look at those paid those paid services you know in the old days cable you know your your high premium cable channels right. uh, now satellite radio right. they all have advertising exactly. and so you know we're we're used to that i mean the reality is if if we want some sort of subsidization advertising is going to be mm -hmm. a component of it and as you said digital media you know this baby boomer this baby boomer generation you know we're 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 kind of falling out of the demographic right. now the target <laughs> my kids are used to seeing and consuming all of their content you know digitally and right. the idea that there's an advertisement it's now just a fabric of that now it's really important to point out to people watching uh, an interview with you for the first time. Remind our audience that Wowio holds the patent to this, uh, well, and you beat some pretty big guys out on that patent. It's a significant uh, achievement. That's right. We think it's we think it's disruptive for the industry. Um, it's the, it, it allows us protects for the insertion of ads and e-books. So and by the way, it's not going to be uh, like what you normally would see on television. It's going to be contextual. Uh, mm -hmm. Ultimately, you know, if you have an interest in do it yourself, you'll see an ad for Home Depot. That actually makes some sense. It's actually right. Be targeted for, you know, for the right audience. So, um, so yeah, we're pretty proud of that. We think you know Amazon and Google and Apple. They're all trying to figure ways around this patent at the moment. Hopefully, they become suitors at some point <laughs> when when the market really accepts it. We think that that that, that will happen. I'm going to be speaking on a panel at the South by Southwest Festival in March on on the on the changing models of of publishing and digital has changed that publishing Absolutely. model so significantly. We're going to be we're we're going to have an impact in that space. You know, it's really interesting. We, you, you demonstrated this on the program once before, and I was always fascinated by it. We talk about bringing books to life, right. and in the ebook space, that really does happen. We, you know, we both have young children. We can remember when they first learned to read. We say, when you read, the book comes to life, the story comes to life, and think of it that way. But in the ebook space, that really happens. It, it really does, and it gives publishers an opportunity to add additional content, add depth to the story, depth to the characters. It's, it, it, it really is. It, 
The funny thing, Don, is that it's the publishing has always been seen as separate from our traditional media. Right. The reality is, and digital and the digital platform has actually shown this. It's 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 just another facet of traditional media. It, it, it's going to be a component of film and television, and so much has been mm -hmm. in our traditional media, but based on books and graphic novels and stories and storytelling. That digital the digital platform has just really sort of blended the lines be, between them. And you're right, allows you chan chance to add content that can bring these stories to life in a new way. Now with Wowio basically going into the public market, as you said, via reverse merger. I mean, I know that happens a lot quicker than the traditional S1 method. Uh, do you have any target? get data as to when you think this might be accomplished? Well, we believe, we believe that we're going to have this acquisition completed before Thanksgiving, okay. which is great. We're going to do an S-1 registration uh, as well, too, because sure. we already have investors in the company, and so to give them an opportunity to have some liquidity in the market, right. uh, we're going to provide that as well. But you're right, and again, with all these regulations, that's a longer process, mm -hmm. but but uh, we're, already, uh, we're already down the road. We've already uh, put the LOI out, we've already been engaged in due diligence, and so we'll be done in hopefully a few weeks. So now you're in the fun process of trying to pick out stock symbols. <laughs> that's that, that's right. Well, and I'd love to say that you know we have some we have some choice in that. A lot of times, Pinder no. just says, uh, "This is what your symbols right, are going right. to be." That's okay. That's okay. At the end of the day, you know, this space is this space is growing. It's big. Digital media is is the place to be. Um, an advertise patent in that space is going to give mm -hmm. us some value. So so we're 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 and, and the revenue stream is is going to start to grow. We do believe that we're going to have some great success out on the public market. The company owes Wowio Incorporated their website. If you really want to see something interesting, go to that is wowio.com. Uh, Brian, uh, this is really getting exciting once again. Yeah, thanks again, Don. Take care. Bye.